So if you're like me, you don't wanna spend a crazy amount of money on a rooftop tent or sleep on the ground while you are camping. This product right here that we are gonna install in this video from Luno Life is an air mattress specifically for your Forerunner. So before installing it, they have multiple options on their website. Maybe you don't have a Forerunner, you got another vehicle, but they have multiple options on their website. I will leave the link down in the description below. I will also guys have an article over on trail 4 rs website with step-by-step -step breakdown. Even though it's a super simple two minute inflation thing for this product, I will have a step-by-step -step instructions with over there on trail 4 rs website with the breakdown and photos of this product as well. So first step is already taken care of. Obviously we gotta put the seats down because this is gonna fill up this whole spot, which is very nice. So if you wanna fill up both sides of this, you will be able to sleep you know, comfortably, whether it's you, your dog, couple, uh, you're a couple, or you have your kids, whatever you have back here, you could do that. Or if you have a bunch of gear on this side, maybe a sliding fridge, uh, anything like that, you can only fill up one side if wanted. Take the mattress out, discard the bag, which has its own repair kit on it too. Has a nice handle for carrying it, but unrolling it, we see an inflate side. So we'll go ahead and lay this out. You see the indents for the doors back there. You have the logo right down here. So I'll make sure that that is right side up. And then coming over to the driver's side. Perfect. So then the cord obviously seems long enough, but we will take the pump to the fill holes that are towards the front door. So I guess you could put it either here in the back or you could do it up front, but I just find it more easy to do it back here in the back. All right guys, so we're back by the back door of the Forerunner. So you can see right here, it says inflate. So they are notched out perfectly. All you have to do is just put the vehicle in accessory mode. You don't gotta turn it on. And this is how loud this pump is. Moves a decent, <laughs> moves a decent amount of air actually. So we will go ahead and open this part right here that says inflate. Make sure your adapter's on. Like I said, the cable, it definitely reaches, so that's sweet. And then just put it there. And inflate. Oh geez, that takes off. I'm just like slightly holding some pressure, but it says it takes about two minutes to fully inflate and it's going really quick so as you can see it's only filling up this side right here instead of both of them and it just may be two minutes for both sides you can hear the pump getting louder i think that's pretty good dude go ahead and plug it back up and that's one side right there. So that's pretty cool because if you want, right, you could just lay on one side, like I said, and if you have a bunch of stuff on this other side, literally just flip this over, right? We probably have to flip it this way, but flip it over and just tuck it underneath, man. So let's go ahead and now fill up this other side so I could show you guys it all together and then we'll put the weights on it. We'll go to bed and then see if, uh, I mean, I'm not going to sleep on this because it's Florida and it's hot in this garage, but uh, we'll go to bed, come back out here in the morning and see how this held up with 225 pounds on it or so. I did notice when it was like almost filling up all the way, the sh this cord was just a little too short. So honestly, maybe for the Forerunner, putting it up front would be better that way you have equal distance between both of them because once this one started to fill up, this cord just got ever so slightly tighter. <laughs> Feels pretty comfortable. Oh. Oh, I'm so fat. This is really comfortable, actually. I could definitely imagine having a little bit of whiskey at the campfire, man, and, and getting on that. So it may be able to fill up a little bit, but, uh, I, uh, I cut it off because the pump was kind of whining, but you can see their logo right here and just how perfectly 
it fits along the forerunner. I mean, it goes out with the doors right there. With the forerunner for me having that sliding rear cargo deck, it allows it to be super flat, but they did have multiple options on their website. Just because forerunners without that sliding rear cargo deck, uh, you know, they're kind of at an incline a little bit. Look how perfect this fits, guys. You have the seats down, and I mean, that is in my driving position pretty much. You have the seats down, this is straight up on that. All this, all this plastic right here for the forerunner. I mean, that's a perfect little nightstand, right? All this plastic right here for the forerunner contours to that let me guess you can shut your door perfectly yeah you can shut your door perfectly come into the back and it is right at the edge of my sliding rear cargo tray i mean this is just very very cool so what i think i'm gonna do guys is actually just put weights on one side because then that way we can compare this side to this side right so here's 50 pounds, here is 70 more pounds, wow. let's put some weight in the middle, since that's where your butt's going to be, right, yup, 20 here, 130, so I think if my math is right, that is close to 200 pounds, um, maybe 190, I think, I may have missed one somewhere, but it's close to 200 pounds, we got a good amount of weight in the middle, some in the head, some down here at the foot. Obviously this is uh, tighter now because there is pressure on it. This one is holding good, obviously nothing really on it. So we will go to bed, we will come back here, take the weight off in the morning, see how it feels compared to the other one. All right guys, good morning. Let's see how this thing held up and I don't know, it's looking promising. That was 200 pounds overnight. And let me know if you think they feel the same. So weights are off. I feel like they feel the same. Yeah? yeah. Well, there you go. It feels sturdier. Which one? This one. That's the one the weight was on. I know, but I think, I don't know if it just didn't grow up even there. Maybe not. Nice. Well guys, there it is. It performed very well overnight actually. Really no noticeable difference in them at all. So very, very cool product. I will hopefully get to use it soon, go camping and give an actual overnight real world test about it. Again guys, links to everything will be down in the description as well. And also a full article on Trail 4R coming for this awesome little setup, man. It's so cool. And I will deep dive into that with more thoughts and everything too. So guys, if you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing, returning subscribers as always. Appreciate your guys' support. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, see you later.